Hey there, how's it going today? For those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Pete. Um, along with being a bike rider, I am also a bike mechanic. I've spent a good bit of my life working in a bicycle shop. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can't miss out on any of the awesome videos coming out here. I do everything from road biking to BMX riding. Along with riding BMX and mountain bikes and road bikes, I also work on the bicycles myself. I'm a certified Shimano mechanic, so I can take care of everything and do it the right way. Today I'm going to go ahead and replace the rear derailleur cable on my road bike. It's been getting uh, a little worn and it's starting to come apart so I need to get that out of there before it causes me any real problems. I'm going to walk you through how to change the rear cable on an internally routed bike. This uh, road bike here has a port right here in the front so we're just going to go straight through there and down through the port near the bottom bracket and then we're going to fish it through the back end of the frame so we can attach it to the rear derailleur. So the first step in this process is going to be removing the old cable. I'm going to use a pair of circular cutters to go ahead and clip off the end of the old cable. Now for each bike it's going to vary um, as to which wrench you're going to use. On this bike we're going to be using a 4mm Allen wrench. You'll want to make sure that you're using the proper Allen wrench size for your bicycle. It's often a 4 or a 5, sometimes even a 3, depending on the quality level of your derailleur. Alright, so I've gone ahead and loosened the derailleur clamp and I want to go ahead and remove the derailleur cable here from the rear housing. Go ahead and remove the cable from the rear section here. I'm going to use the bike mechanic's favorite tool, a spoke. Uh, use the head of that to grab the cable here and just pull it out the bottom of the frame. And now we want to remove the cable guide from the frame. We're going to loosen the front shifter cable to remove the cable guide. Okay, so now we have to remove the cable from the shifter. We've got the head comes out right here. So if you just grab onto the open section of cable and push it back, that will free it up and help it to start coming out there. Before we put the cable in the bike, we're going to want to put a little bit of light lube on there just so it'll help slide through the cable housing a little more smoothly. We want to have as little friction on the system as possible so that the bike will shift as cleanly as possible. Along with reducing friction, adding grease to the cable also increases its lifespan by reducing corrosion on the cable. Check to make sure that the shifter head is fully inserted into the cable carrier. One of the things I like to do when replacing the derailleur cable is make sure that I have the approximate length of the cable measured out before I go sliding it through the frame. That way I have a, a rough idea of how much cable I've pushed through the frame so when it gets to the bottom I'll be able to pull it out more easily. Be sure to reinstall the cable guide into the bottom bracket area. Now insert the shifter cable through the guide in the chain stay on the drive side and just push the cable right on in. The Damani has a very large opening so it'll pop right out the back side. Make sure to align the cable with the drawing on the cable clamp. You will also want to ensure that you have set your high and low stops. Now draw tension on the cable and torque it into place. Reattach the front derailleur cable. Now check to see that the bike is shifting gears properly. 
And now we finish off the installation by clamping on the cable end cap. All right, and that's how you replace the rear derailleur cable on your Trek Damani 5.9 from 2014. Yes, it is correct. Dura Ace, you beautiful. If there's one thing I've learned from today's video is my bike is dirty and I really need to clean it. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching me getting that cable on there and found some tips that could help you get it done as well. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the rad videos coming out here on YouTube.